Hello world, welcome to the 32nd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, uh, similar to Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In the 25th video on this channel, I showed off I was able to detect my battery power and the internet connection. The link to that video will be in the description. In this video, we'll go a step further with detecting our internet connection and get our Wi-Fi settings. So the more you understand about cybersecurity, the scarier simply logging into the internet becomes. It's a scary world out there. And one of my top priorities for Shane is to watch my back 24-7 while we're connected to the internet. I want Shane to have both defensive, so to protect me from others and viruses, and offensive, so be able to retaliate if somebody, something or something does attack me, um, capabilities. So, um, you know, defense and offense. Uh, don't know how to do all of that yet, right? Because some of that is some white hat hacking and some of that is some advanced cybersecurity. But for now, we'll simply detect our Wi Fi settings. So when I run this code, first we'll run the code while I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, then we'll unplug it or disconnect from Wi-Fi and then run it again so you can see the two different states. So let's run this. And as you can see, I am connected to the SSID one. So the first one is the one you're connected to and I have the Verizon Fios 5G. So that's all it does. But then when you disconnect your Wi-Fi, let's run this again. And it says your Wi-Fi is disconnected. Now run it one more time. And since it's um, just connecting to the Wi-Fi, it's going to show probably all my Wi-Fi's that are even available to me. Let's run this one more time. All right, so it looks like there's um, while it's connecting, it's connect. It's going to connect to SSID one if it's not already. All right, it has. There is one of these somewhere near me. There's a third one it couldn't find. Netgear is a possible. It's probably like AT and T or something. Uh, this is my wireless printer. This is uh, the non-5G, right? There's two channels on most moder modern Wi-Fi's, um, whatever this is. And then somebody else's, uh, you know, these look like, I'm not sure what they are, honestly. All right, pretty simple. But as you saw from, uh, I think, episode 30 with my second Shane update, um, I'm gonna move those to the heads up display. So not only will it say I'm connected to the internet, it'll tell me what connection I have, whether it's, you know, whatever Wi-Fi I'm connected to. So let's run through the code real quick. I uh, created a function called get Wi-Fi SSIDs. Right? Then I put it in a try and accept. Um, I implemented a try and accept. And then I created a variable called results. So if you typed in how to get my Wi-Fi SSIDs in Python, you would see this same tutorial a hundred times. I've seen it on Stack Overflow. I've seen it on all these blogs. This is not my code. I did not create it. So you create a variable called results equals sub process dot check output. And then you list these four things. And then you pass that same variable and decode it into UTF-8. So you need that in Python 3 or above. I believe Python 2 and below is ASCII ASCII. You can check what your decoding is down here if you're using PyCharm. I'm using Python 3.7. So we can stop right there and print this result to see what it gives us. So it gives us a bunch of stuff. First, it says your Wi-Fi. There's one network currently visible. That's because I'm connected to that one. The SSID that we just showed, the network type, the encryption type, and then I printed uh, 
it again because it's still running the initial code. So that's quite a bit of cool information right there that we'll probably use in the future. So let's comment that out. And then we're going to replace this and put it into like a list. So let's run that. Oh, that's the same actually. I'm not sure what that did. Okay, this one puts it into a list by... There we go. So this is a long list because we removed the line breaks basically and then put it into a list. Okay, then we we want the fourth one. So in here, it's running this and then you put all of the SSIDs in this little array here and then this is kind of complicated and uh, I don't know the best way to explain it, but basically you're taking the length, the remainder, this is called a modulus, and then you're adding it to this list right here. So LS, so then you are incrementing it each time. So while Y is less than the length, you pass it the SSIDs that are in here and then you print just this right here. So let's make sure all these prints and then you increment it for each one that it's visible. So basically I'm just doing this SSID space colon this right here. That's all this does and it lists all of them. So when I show it to my heads up display I'm just gonna do SSID one. Alright pretty quick video I just wanted to show it, just wanted to say again, this is not my code. This is a code you can get from hundreds of tutorials. Uh, I did put it in a try and accept. So if you don't see that, um, that's all you did. And then I just print your Wi-Fi is disconnected. This sub process function is not um, part of the standard library. Or it is part of the standard library. So you just have to put import sub process. You don't have to pip install. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post new updates. Like this video that you're watching right now and share this with your friends. Goodbye world.